to Joel Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about Newton Refson method and today in this tutorial I am going to share with you couple of questions those already asked in gate previous year paper okay so let me share with you one thing from this topic they have asked question almost every year so if you understand this topic this is really simple anybody can solve problem related to this topic because this is simple only few steps to go you need to know simple differentiation and that's it you can just get the answer all right so i'll share with you a couple of question as i have already shared with you okay so let's get started so this is the first question as you can see which is just in front of you so what they have said in this question that starting from x0 is equal to 1 one step of newton Refson method in solving equation this gives next value x1 as well if you are watching i mean if you are just uh, solving uh, newton Refson method first time then I will share with you one thing. This is the tutorial. This is it for you. This is the for this is for you, right? So what they said, they said x1 we have to find, right? So I will go to directly the formula for finding out x1. So x1 is equal to x0 f x0 divided f dash x0. Now if you will come to know what is x0, they have already given x0 is equal to 1 minus fx0 and f dash 0 so this is the equation they have given let's say fx is equal to x cube plus 3x minus 7 all right now if i'll put x is equal to 1 this is x0 right so if i'll put x is equal to 1 in this case x0 is equal to 1 because they have given so what i am going to get 1 plus 3 minus 7 so 4 minus 7 that means minus 3 so just write minus 3 here now what they are said next that f dash x f dash x not is equal to what would be so we'll do differentiation of this so what we are going to get 3 x square plus 3 now 3 x value of x not is 1 plus 3 right so uh, yeah now it's 6 what we got value here 6 now look at this we can do what we can do simplification of it 3 2 so 1 plus 1 by 2 so uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 3 by 2 is equal to 1 by 5 and this is the answer as you can see option c is a right answer for this question now let's review it what we required to solve this kind of problem that is important because once you will come to know formula once you will come to know what to do now you need to review it what you required basically to solve the problem so first of all you have to remember this formula and then we have to know what is x naught that is most of the time they have given that is x naught is equal to 1 it is given here you will come to know one by one when i will share with you more questions in this video video to order only you will get all those and then we have to find out x naught and f dash x naught what is that that is differentiation we have to do differentiation after this dash means single derivative so after doing single derivative what we are getting 3x square and x1 so x3 and this is constant so 0 then we put x is equal to 1 then we got this value are you getting my point now let's move on to the next question which is also in uh, from this topic only all right so back to back you will uh, you will come to know and you learn a lot of uh, concept and the concept is same i mean lot of things a lot of questions i must say that you are going to learn so uh, here is the uh, here is the question again in front of you uh, another method is used to compute a what root of equation this okay and uh, with uh, 3 plus 5 as the initial value approximation approximation after one iteration okay now what we have to do basically that is important here what should we do to find out the answer for this question 
so what we have to do we have to find out first fx is equal to what x square minus 13 okay now if i will say f dash okay let's say this is uh, f dash okay no problem this is f dash x naught so i have to do this x naught right so f dash x naught is 2 x naught got it now we know that what they said approximation after one iteration that means we have to find out x1 so x1 is equal to what x naught f x naught by f dash x naught now put here in both the equation we have to put x naught x naught is equal to 3.5 uh, 3 so 2 multiple 3.5 is equal to 7 and here 3.5 square minus 13 so what we are exactly getting i have to calculate 3.5 square minus 13 is equal to minus 0.75 now x naught is equal to 3.5 this is minus 0.75 so minus minus plus and this is 7 now do calculation 0.75 division 7 plus 3.5 is equal to 3.607 is the answer now look at the option we have given and if you'll see all options then you will find that option b is the right answer for this question yeah option b is the right answer so in this way you can go solve question right let's move on to the next question and all questions i am sharing with you all these question already asked in gate previous year so this is the next question so in this equation they have equation in this question they have given equation this this is the equation we got here now to solve using nr method again nr method that is newton raphson method if x is equal to 2 is taken as the initial approximation of the solution then next approximation using this method again we have to find out x1 is equal to what we know the formula for this x naught minus f x naught division f dash x naught okay now i think i have to get some you know <laughs> i have to get a new marker <laughs> otherwise i will win problem I, mean, I cannot create videos for you so x naught is equal to what two now we have to find out what is f x naught and f dash x naught we know that f x is equal to x cube x square plus 4x minus 4 right if i'll put x is equal to 2 then what value i am getting let me see so that we can don't use we don't need to use calculator right 8 minus 4 plus 8 minus 4 so this term will become 0 this is 8 right yeah you can see right now this term will become 0 so this will 8 now f dash x is equal to what so 3x square minus 2x plus 4 3x square 3 multiple 4 minus 4 plus 4 again this term will become 0 so what we get we got 12 so here 8 division 12 right so 2 and this is 3 2 minus 2 by 3 is equal to 6 minus 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3 now let's do calculation this would be 1.33 right because 4 by 3 yeah now look at the option we have given as you can see option a is the right answer for this question and this is the question number third i have shared with you till now three questions of nr method only now let's move on to the next question and the same question already asked in gate previous year remember what questions i am sharing with you all these questions already asked in gate previous year so if you will practice even this question that would be much better for you but i will suggest you go and practice lot of questions related to me that related to this topic that would be much better to remember it right now again the method is nr method in short we know nr as newton raphson method right so what they said fx is equal to this and initial uh, so the first iteration we have to find out so we have to find out x1 again the formula for finding out x1 according to newton raphson method is x naught f x naught and f dash x naught what is x naught here 1.2 f x naught we have to find out that is f x is equal to this so we'll just need to put put x naught yani, yani, uh, this means x naught is equal to 1.2 so 1.2 square 2 multiple 1.2 minus 1 
सो वन पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू मल्टीपल वन पॉइंट टू माइनस वन सो वट वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग टू पॉइंट एट फोर राइट सो टू पॉइंट एट फोर नाउ एफ डैस दैट मीन्स इट्स एफ डैस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू राइट सो थ्री मल्टीपल वन पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू सो वी हैव टू डू कैलकुलेशन वन पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर मल्टीपल थ्री प्लस टू सो वट वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री टू नाउ लेट्स डिवाइड दिस वैल्यू आंसर एंड वन पॉइंट टू माइनस आंसर सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव जीरो वेर वैल्यू इज गेटिंग देर मस्ट बी सम प्रॉब्लम मे बी इन द कैलकुलेशन लेट सी द कैलकुलेशन फर्स्ट then we can get the right answer let me see the calculation so here we have given a skew therefore 1.2 q would be there 1.2 q would be there and uh, 2 multiple 1.2 minus 1 so it's 3.128 so it's 3.128 right 3.128 and uh, 6.32 now 1.2 minus yeah so the answer is is 0.705. Now look at the option we have given in this question. So option C is the right answer for this question. Okay. So this is all about this question. Well, I have shared with you already four videos till now. I hope you have learned lot of stuff about uh, Newton's option method. And if you got any question related to it, you can post me below or you can ask me below by giving comments. So well, thanks for watching. And if you are getting help from my tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe my channel. And of course, don't forget to share with your friends. That's why they will also get help from my tutorials. All right. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again in my next video tutorial. Bye bye.